Remember how back in the 80s we thought the Cold War was peak absurdity and it couldn't possibly get any crazier? Well, a few decades later and America's like, hold my beer. We took the most powerful bomb we could build without summoning the devil and strapped it to the most dangerous aircraft the skies have ever seen. And not just any aircraft, a stealth one, brother. You can't see it, you can't hear it. It's like it doesn't even exist when it's flying. What it's carrying is officially called the B-6113. Unofficially, goodbye, Bunker. The one 12 program started in 2010. We really started the aircraft compatibility testing in 2013. Now picture this. This little beast isn't flying on some rusty tin can from the 60s. Nope. It's riding on a B-2 Spirit, a bomber that looks like DARPA engineers built it after a week-long Red Bull bender. It's flat, black, and so terrifying that even Radar says, yeah, I didn't see anything. This sleek masterpiece blasts across half the planet just to turn an underground command center into a smoking crater and a faint whiff of ozone. Why? Because we can. And because someone in Tehran or Pyongyang needs a friendly reminder of who's daddy here. This isn't just an attack, this isn't just a weapon, it's an American signature etched into the concrete roof of a strategic bunker. So sit back, pour yourself something bold, and watch as the U.S. reminds the world when we do something, we do it all the way. Because this is America, friend, and we don't just fight, we make an entrance. But listen, this whole story with the B-2 and the new nuclear bombs, it's not about blowing everything to hell. Those days are over. These days, it's all about precision, subtlety. And that's exactly where the B-2 Spirit comes in. It's not just a plane, it's a shadow toolbox that can fly halfway around the world and no one will even know it's there. And if they do notice, it's already too late. Built back in the 90s, it still looks like it time traveled from the future, a sleek, tailless flying wing straight out of the Terminator. It cruises silently, invisibly, with a range of 7,000 miles without refueling meaning it can take off from Missouri, circle the globe, get the job done, and be home for dinner. It's not lightning fast, about 600 miles per hour, but that's not the point. It's not about chasing anyone down. It's about showing up where no one expects you and making sure they never need to expect you again. The shape of the B-2 is basically designed so that it minimizes the amount of radar that can be returned to the original source. And now it's got a brand new toy, the B-6113. But this isn't just another nuclear warhead, it's a polite warning crafted from uranium and mathematical precision. It weighs just over 2,000 pounds, but the point isn't the size, it's the depth. This thing can punch through nearly 200 feet of reinforced concrete. It's not about leveling a city, it's about erasing one target from the map. Clean, no collateral. It used to have a bigger cousin, the GBU-57 MOP, basically a 30,000-pound sledgehammer that drops like the wrath of God on bunkers. But the B-61? That's surgical. Less boom, more outcome. And when this little precision monster's riding on a B-2, which is basically a black knife in the dark, no one even hears it coming. You might be wondering, what's the point of all this? It's not to start firing shots, this is about deterrence. In a world where everyone and their uncle is spinning up missiles, someone needs to be able to say quietly, don't. Because if it ever gets to have to, it'll already be too late for words. And the B-2 has done this before. Libya, Afghanistan, Iraq, it showed up, handled business, and left without asking permission. In 2001, it flew 44 straight hours, launched from the US, bombed Taliban targets, and came back, unseen, untouched. And now, with things heating up again in the East, in the Red Sea, wherever, this isn't just a bomber, it's a calling card. It doesn't mean we're going to war, it means, are you sure you want to keep going? The B-2 is a stealth aircraft. It's designed to basically kick down the door to open up that entryway for other aircraft. That's the deal. Not a movie hero, not a doomsday machine, just a calm, cold argument in case the world starts forgetting that silence is a strategy too. Honestly, the whole story about the B-2 and the nuclear payload isn't about flattening cities. This isn't the circus of the 60s. It's about being ready for the moment when words stop working. But hey, let's not forget the real MVP behind all of this, 
our taxes. One B2 Spirit costs over $2 billion. Yep, that's nine zeros. For that price, you could build an entire town or cover every school lunch in some part of Pennsylvania for the next hundred years. But the question isn't what it costs, it's what it guarantees. Because when you've got an aircraft that can fly over 7,000 miles, slip past every radar, and drop a warhead that slices through concrete like butter, that's not about launching attacks, that's about making sure no one ever wants to start one. The B-6113 isn't some massive bomb, but it's precise, deep penetrating, and smart. And when it drops from a B-2, the only thing left on the ground is dust. No apocalypse, no drama, just silence. Does anyone else have something like this? Nope. Russia keeps playing the no analogs game and China's busy coping, but they're still miles from the B-2, like trying to reach the moon on foot. As for defense, well, theoretically, you could hope for something, but in reality, even top-tier air defense systems can't see the B-2. It's simply not there until it's too late. So in the end, this isn't just an expensive toy, it's a silent answer to any reckless idea. No shouting, no shooting, just presence. And most of the time, that's enough. Now imagine how this looks from the other side. You're an enemy commander, sitting in the mountains, dialing in your missile with big dreams of scaring someone, and then suddenly the ground starts to tremble. But not from an explosion, from the silence. Communications drop, signals vanish, and deep down you know something's coming. Something you won't see. Something you can't stop. Because while some countries are out filming parades, proudly rolling their missiles down the street on tank treads, others are silently launching invisible bombers that have zero interest in putting on a show. They just get the job done. And honestly, better to keep them in a hangar than in the sky because their very existence is already a warning. The world's gotten weird, no doubt, but as long as there's a B-2 flying with a payload of common sense, there's still hope that the dumbest ideas will stay where they belong, in the comment sections of wannabe experts. And hey, if you made it this far, you're either really into this or still in shock. Either way, smash that like button and follow, because what's coming next? It's louder, it's riskier. Because let's face it, technology is beautiful and a little terrifying, which is exactly why we need to talk about it together. And with some damn perspective.